Okay, so today we're going to be doing right collectedness, or what's known as sama samadhi in Pali. But what does sama samadhi mean? Remember, the word sama means proper or right or harmonious or effective, however you want to put it. And what it's saying is, it is uh, samadhi which is proper. Proper why? Because it's leading to Nibbana. Last week I told you about mindfulness as being, uh, or rather remembering to observe how mind's attention moves from one object to the other. So mindfulness then naturally leads to right samadhi or right collectedness. So this word samadhi, it's a word that's used in different kinds of traditions. Uh, we see it in Buddhism, we see it in Hinduism, we see it in Jainism, and they all have different ways of interpreting it. But the commonality about Samadhi is that it is essentially two words or a contraction of two words, Sama or Sam. Now that depends on how you interpret it. Sama means to be balanced or to be harmonious or to be even. And the is the short form for buddhi, which is our intellect, which is our mind. So samadhi is all about having a mind that is even, that is equal to all things. Or sum, sum means to gather. Yeah, S A M, to gather, to um, to collect. And therefore, we say right collectedness. So traditionally, when we look at uh, right samadhi or right collectedness, it has the four jhanas. In reality, this is what's really important to understand. In reality, there is only or there are only four jhanas. Uh, you know, conversationally or sometimes in the suttas we'll read of the eight jhanas. But in reality, there's the four jhanas and the four ayatanas. The four jhanas are the rupa jhanas, as we understand, the form, the form uh, attainments or the form uh, levels of understanding. And then the ayatanas are essentially experiences that are within the scope of the fourth jhana. So that would be infinite space, infinite consciousness, nothingness, neither perception nor non-perception. So the word jhana actually comes from the Sanskrit dhyana. And dhyana means to study, to look, to understand. So jhana in Pali is essentially levels of understanding. There are also levels of cessation. Why? Because they cease coarse mental activity in the beginning and subtler and subtler mental waves or disturbances until you come to a point where you have the total cessation of all perception, feeling, and consciousness, as a result of which, or from where, they can arise, so to speak, Nibbana. Uh, 